Good evening, Toastmasters. I'm Kyle, and I'm six, six months freshman in my career. <laughs> and also, I'm new promoted small group leader in my office. Ooh. Thank you. And before, uh, at the beginning of my speech, I want to do some research. Is there anyone who's not a student? Please raise your hand. Oh, thank you. But I think most of people are students, so maybe I choose the topic too early. <laughs> okay, I'll do that again. Is there anyone who is going to face the, face the pressure of finding a job in one or two years? Please raise your hand. Okay, a little bit more. <laughs> okay, great for you. Good for you because I'm going to tell you the tips for you to survive in your future go future job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, the first tip is the first tip is be stupid at the right time. <laughs> yeah, I know that. And two students are very smart. And if I want to ask you to be pretend stupid, then maybe a difficult, maybe very difficult. But in the working working place, sometimes you have to be careful of those who are jealous about your intelligence. But the most of, most important thing is sometimes being too smart stops you to see the truth in inside the details. And with this small misunderstanding, stops you to do things right. So maybe you should consider that. Sometimes smart is not a good thing. The second tip is make, make yourself up with the full-time smile. Because the, the, unhappy emo facial, the unhappy facial expression make people to associate with something in thinking. So for example, they might think that, is he unsatisfied with my appointment? Or, how dare a freshman look, look down upon me? And they might not know that you just ate the wrong thing in the morning and now in the hurry to go to the bathroom. But the only thing they sure to know is in this case, you're in danger. So the third tip is try to be a helpful assistant. Because at the beginning of your job, you, ha you will have to deal with lots of small things, which are very, very small, that that too small to be seen by the manager. So which means you grab the whole details in your hand. So try very hard to be relied on. The fourth tip is you have to be responsible. After several months of working, you might be given some missions, but don't be afraid to take charge in things. Because that's a great time for you to show your ability. And if you just fail, it's also the time for you to show your responsibility. And you know what? For most of the managers, they regard the letter as a as more important thing. And by the way, most of the managers don't really blame on a freshman. So for my ad advice, you just take it and for your own good. And the final, final tip is, what is, what is the face? <laughs> the final tip is, you should be talkative. And we all know that public speaking skills is the very strong, very powerful weapon for you to deliver your own idea. And we also know humor can easily break the ice. Both can leave a strong image to other peoples. And both we can learn in NTUTM. Yeah. So let me suggest that 
you just give yourself a big applaud for you are learning here tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Although that's not for me, I still feel nice. <laughs> So at the, at the end of my speech, I want to remind you the five tips again. Stupid and make up. Assistant, responsible and talkable. With these five tips, I believe in the future, you will work more S-M-A-R-T. So let's be smart. Toastmaster of the evening. Our last speaker is Christine Tsai. Her speech title is Which is More Possible? Which is More Possible? Christine is a cute girl and she is an advanced speaker in our club. Let's welcome Christine Tsai. <laughs> 